NCAA basketball totals for Friday, March Madness. We're going to look at one game today with these uh, four games going on right now. We're going to take a look at Kentucky and UCLA, and we're going to look at the total. That's what we've been doing all year, looking at the NCAA segments. This last week has definitely not been good, but hopefully we'll we'll get things going here uh, with Kentucky and uh, UCLA. Don't forget sbrpicks.com, Sportsbook Review, or our Facebook page, YouTube channel, things you got to check out. Our NBA Live segment that we do Sunday through Thursday is a blast. I'm also going to have a video out there for my NBA total segment, so be sure to go ahead and take a look at that. Let's look at this total today. We got, uh, right now, UCLA and Kentucky is just a rematch, actually, which is surprising. You don't often get that when it gets to the Sweet 16, but that's what we got. And they had a really big total earlier in the year, well over what this is at right now. Ozmakers have this uh, down to 165 and a half. It's actually dropped. And uh, I got that line from you, Wager, so we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at that line uh, from that specific sports book, and it's 165 and a half right now from them. And we're going to go under this total. We'll go under this total. We got right now that last game they played in Kentucky. UCLA shocked them, 97-92. Absolute track meet. You had UCLA shooting 53%. UCLA shooting 43% from distance. Kentucky did not shoot the ball particularly well, but they did get up 80 attempts. They went really fast. Recently, what we've seen out of Kentucky, though is their propensity to play great defense. When we look at the Wildcats, their last several games, they've held teams to 62 points, 70 points, 65 points, 74 points, 60, 63, 67, 66, 62. The real emphasis on defense. They did have a little high-scoring affair when they played at Georgia, where they allowed 77 points. But they've really stepped things up on the defensive end. And that's what you kind of can expect from a young team and coach Calipari towards the end of the year. He knows defense wins championships. Uh, that old adage still remains the same here. And I think they're going to step things up against a UCLA team kid that can flat out score, but can also play defense at times as well. Let's take a look. Well, their offensive percentages are off, off the chart. You got UCLA averaging over 90 points per game. They rank first in the country, Kentucky right behind them. 85.2. They rank fifth tempo wise. They both get up and down the court, 64.7 for uh, UCLA attempts per game, Kentucky 63 attempts per game. They're really fast, and they both allow some tempo. But this 165.5, that's a really high total, and they might get there, honestly. This is not a really easy game for me to handicap. For, for me, I think the defensive percentages is what's going to make this game stay just a little bit under this total, ultimately, when this game goes down to the buzzer. Right now, Kentucky is allowing opponents to shoot just 42% from the floor, and they rank 27th in the country in opponent shooting efficiency. That is a solid statistic for how how fast they go and the pace they like to push. UCLA, not bad at all. They're 40th in the country in opponent shooting efficiency, and they're allowing opponents to shoot just 42% uh, overall, which ranks right with Kentucky. But more impressively, they're allowing opponents to shoot just 45.1% on their two-point shots. That's where Kentucky's strength is. Kentucky is averaging 53.2% on their two-point shooting, which pr- proportion-wise well outweighs their scoring. You know, Well, most teams are scoring, of course, comes from their two-point shots. But proportion-wise, statistically, they're a better uh, interior extended team getting to the rack than they are shooting from beyond the arc. And that's where UCLA has been thriving on the defensive end. So UCLA, great scoring t- statistics across the board. Kentucky, solid defense, athletes on both sides. I think the total here is just a little bit too high. So I'm going to back under that 165 and a half. A couple spread plays I like as well that I do want to mention when we get to these games is uh, I do like Butler plus the point, but I really like South Carolina. And that's a little bit of a heart play for me because I really like Frank Martin. I had him on the upset versus Duke. If you saw my NBA live videos, you would know that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take him on the plus money line to upset Baylor. I I like how they're playing right now. Frank Martin's a great coach. He's going to have him ready to go against a really good Baylor team. But I think South Carolina gets it done. That's going to be my upset of the day. The other game's going to be tight. Um, But I like Butler plus the points, and I like South Carolina to go ahead and pull off the upset. Those are my spread picks. For our totals, again, we like uh, Kentucky. UCLA under the 165 and a half. Again, we get that line from our friends at U Wager, so you definitely want to check out that sports book along with all our other sports books at Sportsbook Review. And I wish you guys the best of luck on your picks today. We hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, don't miss out on the best basketball betting content available on YouTube. Click our logo button on the bottom left to subscribe. And as always, guys, give us a like and drop your comments below because we want to hear from you. Visit our website to take advantage of all our free products.